Welcome back to Killer Gameplays, level 3 for Jerusalem Project, Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Got some flares here. There's going to be four numbers that we have to find and put in the right order to exit this level. So we'll pull this block back twice. The main goal for the end of this level is to get the second piece of paper and a yellow crystal. So we'll go back through here, see what number we uncovered. The number two, which is going to be the last number. I'll show you, uh, we'll have to look at a floor plan to, and a letter that we get from a priest, a clergyman that, that uh, will help us figure it out. This is the floor plan over here. So the one we just picked up is at the bottom right. figure all that out shortly got to get all the numbers revealed first but we'll go up here and uh, use one of those keys we got from the last level open this gate <laughs> break out the revolver Attach the uh, laser sight to it. Shoot this window over here. Then we need to shoot a rope. Let down a rope here. And swing over that way. Jump forward, press action so she don't bump her head. Go off in this direction here. There's a uh, there's a gate hatch we need to drop for a timed run right here. But we can get a large med pack over to the left. Let's go ahead and do that. And the jump lever is over to the left for the timed run. So we'll get a little cutscene here. So we'll get a save point, pull it again, make this timed run. Just 
back flip here. And there's one secret in this level. Let's go ahead and get it. There's a invisible platform here. If you light a flare, you can see it. Jump forward and get the Christian cross. Nice. Then we need to light this pot here to open this door. This will, uh, we can ring a bell in there and summon the clergyman. And we can get fire down these steps here. Drop the torch here. Shoot this powder in here. Get a pickup. Uh, shoot this gate. Ring the bell. Alright, so three more numbers to reveal. First thing we can do is shoot these panels on each side of the altar. That's not quite the way to behave, but never mind. My insurance will cover it. All right, this is uh, station nine. That's going to be the second number. And we'll shoot the panels on the other side. Get a pickup. All right, let's get on top of this box here. There's a lever we need to push. Shoot this uh, balcony here. Oh. I believe this uh, opens a painting for another number. Uh, this is station eight. That'll be the, the third number. Uh. Uh. So one more number to find. Uh, 
and we'll go back down the steps. There's a gate closed down here. Buttons halfway up the steps. Uh, let's get the pistols out. There we go. And we're going to take a right. Got another button to press to lower a rope. So we'll swing across to the next balcony. Get that fourth number. Open the gate. Press this button to open the hatch. Gate we just opens right behind. And we'll pull back this glass case and reveal the last number. Which is a five, that's the first number in the code. Right in front of the altar here it will open another gate so we'll have to find that gate check the diary station five go ahead and check this painting around the corner here Get a pick up. Station 8, which uh, is the third number. And we'll go down the steps and go talk to the clergyman. Uh, there's pottery there, but there's nothing in it. Bless you, Miss Croft. I have been expecting you. Expecting me? What can I do for you, Father? Our most valuable Bible has been stolen. I hope you'll be able to help us. I'll see what I can do for you. Whoa. He walked right through me. He's a holy man. So we get this piece of paper. I believe this is the order that we looked at the numbers in. There are names of chapels in the Holy Sepulchre on the priest note. I should have a look at the floor plan. And if you looked at the order that we found them in and you check the map you can figure out the order of the numbers fifty nine eighty two is what it is so let's head over this way check this room over here Some revolver ammo. So I don't know if we come back here a few times. Those are hatches that can open. We just have to see how it goes when we play through the game. He mentioned a stolen Bible, which we don't get 
So I'm sure, I'm guessing we'll be back. I know for sure this hatch opens. And let's head down this way. There's a boulder trap. We're just going to sprint forward. Need to get a key down here. Shoot some bats. Pad key, I believe. Pad room key. Okay. And if you come out of here, of course, this is the way we came down. I just go back out the same way because over to the left, this way, there's a boulder trap if you try to go out that way. So the cutscene showed him opening a gate. That's where we need to go. There's a hatch in the floor we need to open. So we'll use the key. <coughs> and uh, we're gonna put this number in. 5982 There we go. We'll go down here. We got a little game to play with the Grim Reaper to get the yellow crystal and the other piece of paper. Hey, would you like to play a little game? If I have to, I just want the yellow crystal. You will get that. But if you lose, I get your soul. <laughs> the rules are quite simple. Three stones in a row, and you win. You can begin. However, you can't use the same stone twice in a row. Never use the same stone twice in a row. Okay, let's get it over with. So we want to move this green one back this way. Uh. Let him move his piece. Move the one in the corner back. Uh. Let him move his piece. Then we'll move the center one back. Then we're good to go. Uh. Cool. Second piece of paper and the yellow crystal. We'll say goodbye to the Grim Reaper. See you, man. Your plan didn't work. You can't steal my soul. There we go. Let's go ahead and combine the uh, pieces of paper, though. All right. Now it's time to just head out of here. This game has a 
certain path line that you have to follow to get to the right levels and keep the game going in order. So we're going to just completely leave the church here. Go straight ahead, take a left. This is uh, Jerusalem Old City 2011, two, passing through. And uh, we're going to go up to the street oh. sign. Wailing Wall, passing through, first time. Uh, we need to head to Yad Vashem. So we'll go down the steps, and that's going to uh, end the level. So I hope everybody liked the video. And... Uh, Come on back. We'll do level five next. You watch Killer Gameplays. See you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.